press the mode button to toggle between mode 1 and mode 2. Mode 2 is recommended when contractions become more intense. However, it is a matter of preference. Simply use whichever mode feels more comfortable for you. The Optimax key. This heightens or lessens the level of pulse power transmitted to the electrode pads. The level starts at 3 dots and 150 mu per second. Pressing the OM key either up or down will increase or decrease the Optimax sensation by units of 50 mu per seconds. Minimum of 1 dot, maximum of 5 dots. This is extremely useful for the final stages of labour when you need an extra surge of power. Frequently Asked Questions When shall I start using my L10s? As early as you can after the onset of labour to allow time for your body's painkilling chemicals to rise. Can I try the L10s before going into labour? Yes. Place two pads on your forearm to feel the different pulse sensations follow the instructions on page 6 of your instruction manual. Can I combine the L10s with other medication? Yes. You can still use analgesics such as gas and air, Antinox, or pethidine. Can the L10s be used in hospital? Yes, however a midwife may ask you to switch it off temporarily. Can I use the L10s if I'm considering a water birth? Yes, but not in the water itself. Troubleshooting questions. Why does the stimulation not appear to be as strong after you've used the L10s for a while? Increase the intensity. You may have become used to a lower setting. Why does the stimulation feel strong but ineffective? You may need to reposition the electrode pads. Why does the stimulation not feel sufficiently strong even on a high setting? The batteries may need replacing. What do I do if there is no stimulation, intermittent stimulation or weak stimulation, felt even with a new battery? Check electrode contact, check leads, check batteries. Precautions and contraindications. Do not use the L10s if you have a cardiac pacemaker. Check with your medical advisor before using if you suffer from a heart condition, undiagnosed pain, have any metal implants or any doubts whatsoever. TENS must not be used before the 37th week of pregnancy except under medical supervision. Never use a TENS to mask undiagnosed pain since this could require urgent treatment. If you are pregnant, do not place the electrodes over your abdomen. General precautions. Do not use this unit without first reading these instructions. Do not immerse the L10s in any liquid. Do not place it close to any source of excessive heat or operate it in the presence of flammable gas. Do not drop this unit onto a hard surface. Do not attempt to dismantle the L10s. Only use specified batteries and electrodes. If damaged, do not use. Return to supplier. Remove the batteries when not in use. Do not use while driving or operating potentially dangerous machinery or while using a microwave. Keep out of the reach of children. Do not place electrodes on or near the eyes, in the mouth, over the front or sides of the neck, across the head, heart, or an area of broken, inflamed, infected or numb skin. Electrodes should generally only be applied to skin with normal sensation unless under medical supervision. Do not use in the presence of tuberculosis, malignant tumours, very high or very low blood pressure, high fever or acute inflammatory disease unless under medical supervision. A mild shock may be caused if one electrode is accidentally removed. In the event of this happening, the unit should be turned off immediately.